How does somebody say I'm going to be looking for aliens? <laughs> Is there life elsewhere? Are we alone? What could life be like on other places that aren't the Earth? We're on the path to knowing whether or not there is in fact life on Mars. We see that there were the conditions similarly between Earth and Mars, where we know life existed on Earth, to make us think that it's possible that life started on Mars. We don't know what life on Mars would be like. First of all, there's not giraffes and rhinos and elephants running around on Mars. We know that much. So if there is life on Mars, it's likely to be small microbial life. That microbial life could look very similar to life on Earth, and it could look very different. It's reasonable to start with the assumption that um, life would be something that requires liquid water. It's reasonable to start with an assumption that life would require carbon. Then things start getting a little lesser. It's probably unlikely that they form DNA and RNA, but it's possible. We're not gonna find, you know, walking, talking, little green men kind of thing. And so this is one of the reasons that we sent the Perseverance rover to look in the rocks for evidence that light might have left behind. So if life does exist, it's probably retreated deep underground where it has access to liquid water and the nutrients that it needs. If we were to discover that there was life on Mars. We want to be careful in, in these two directions. One is that we want to make sure that we don't contaminate Mars or do anything that would hurt the life that was on Mars. That's, that's our ethical responsibility as, as humans. Also, we need to be careful and um, make sure that that life on Mars is not hazardous and uh, a threat to, to us on Earth. And so we're being very careful in the way that we manage our existing missions. And then in the Mars sample return mission, we actually will bring samples back from Mars. We're being extra, extra careful to make sure that we don't expose Earth life to potential Mars life without making sure that it's been protected and, and ensured that it's not hazardous. Any evidence that we might find of life elsewhere, whether or not it's ancient biosignatures of some life in the past, or whether or not it's an extant life that's surviving on some environment off the earth somewhere, would be even more profound than, you know, winning the World Series or the Super Bowl or anything like that, because it's not just the culmination of one small group of people, right? This would be the culmination of generations of work of scientists and cultures throughout time. This is something that in some ways everybody has been working on. And it would fundamentally change our understanding of the commonality of life throughout the solar system. What a profound thing for us on Earth to know that we're not alone. And I would imagine that if it turns out there's life on Mars, as we explore farther and farther, perhaps outside of our solar system, we're gonna find more and more life in other places. It's hard to imagine that of all the places in the universe, life is only present here on Earth. That just seems hard. And Mars is the first place where we would find out that that's not the case.